Good morning, everyone. I am Megan Newman, and I am a preparator at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Today, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about what I do there and to do a demonstration with you that lets us practice some of our fossil preparation skills. So since we can't be at the museum, we have this pretty cool activity. All you need are a few things. Um, one would just be a plate. We wanna make sure we keep everything together. Um, you'll also need something like a toothpick. So I have the end of the skewer, or um, I have a yarn needle here. A toothpick works, or anything else that your adult thinks would be right for you to use to help us kind of pick apart the cookie. And then you need a cookie. It doesn't matter if it's homemade or store-bought, as long as there are chips or candies or dried fruit, any sort of thing in there would be perfect. And one tip I have is if you're going to make a cookie to do this activity, make sure it's totally cooled. It's really, really hard to do if the chocolate is still melty or gooky. So that's my biggest suggestion. Um, but first here, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you a little bit more about what I do. Um, if you've been to the museum and in Dinosphere, you've probably seen our paleo prep lab. And that is where we have dinosaur bones right now that we're cleaning. And so when we're talking about fossil preparation, that's the part of paleontology where you clean, preserve, and repair fossils. Um, so fossils are any sign of ancient life. And like I mentioned, most of the fossils we're working on are from dinosaurs, so they're dinosaur bones. And we use a lot of different tools to clean our fossils. Um, we have hand tools like dental picks and knives and things like that. We also have some other cool tools that are powered up. I don't have any of those here with me right now, so we're gonna really focus on those prep skills that use hand tools. Um, so when we're talking about this, this activity, we're gonna use a cookie as an example of a fossil. And so we have a few different parts here, right? We have the chip, and then we also have the cookie. So when we find fossils, where are they? In the ground, exactly. And so when a fossil is in the ground, it's surrounded by a lot of rock and dirt. We call that matrix. Can you say that with me? Matrix, perfect. And so when we're talking about this cookie example, imagine the chocolate chips are the fossil and they're surrounded by the cookie matrix. And so most of my job is removing that matrix, removing that rock and dirt from around the fossil while protecting the fossil, trying to keep it safe. And so we're gonna go ahead and practice. I'm going to start with this M&M cookie. And so for anyone who might be joining us just now, we're gonna go ahead and post this whole video on the timeline after it's over. So you can do this whenever you're, you're able to. But I'm gonna start with this M&M cookie. This is a really good example of some nice, soft, chewy matrix and some really stable fossils. So the M&Ms have a nice candy coating. Um, they're gonna be really, really stable. So all I'm going to do is try to slowly pick away at this nice chewy matrix without touching or damaging the fossil. And this might be kind of tricky. There are a lot of different fossils and a lot of different types of matrix that react differently. This one just happens to be nice and soft. So if your cookie is a little bit difficult, to do this with, that's okay. I'm gonna do a demonstration with a harder, chewier, or crispier cookie in a minute. So all I'm doing is just slowly removing this. And this is really similar to what I do in the lab. If you've ever stopped by the window, you've been able to watch us work, and this is pretty similar. So I'm just gonna keep, keep going. I'll even go a little bit under. You can see all the crumbs are coming out. It's like all the dust that we make in the lab. And then all of a sudden, out comes your fossil. And this is a really good example of, of what we work on too, because you can see there's more than one fossil in this matrix. And that happens a lot where we're digging. So next I'm gonna go ahead and start on a chocolate chip cookie. So this might be a better example of a situation where you have a fossil that's a little bit softer or crumblier. It doesn't have that hard coating, but the matrix is still pretty soft, so I can Pick away at it pretty gently. And just so you know, if something goes wrong and you break the chocolate chip, that's okay. That's okay. In the lab, we have a lot of different glues that we use to help keep the fossils together. And so honestly, some of the fossils I've worked on are probably easier than some of the cookies you might be working on. So go under. And also, 
with fossil prep, just like anything else, you have to practice. And so it's really cool and exciting that we get to practice on cookies today. So there we go. We've got another fossil. How cool. And finally, here's a tricky one. We've got a nice crunchy cookie that I didn't make. This is a store-bought one, which is totally fine. And this is a good example. See how crumbly that is compared to how soft this cookie was? Sometimes we have really hard sandstones with fossils in them, and this is a little bit more like that. So I've still, I have to go a little bit slower. But when you're doing this at home, just take your time. See how many you can get out. See if you can protect the other fossils, the other chips, while you're focused. Oh, and sometimes that happens too. Sometimes the matrix will break when you're not expecting it. Totally fine. It's a good chance to pause and maybe separate out the piece you're working on. All right. There we go. Now we've got another chip. All right, so friends, this is a great example of one way that you can practice your fossil prep skills. I know I'm not in the lab right now, so it's important for me to keep going, so I might see what other chips I can get out today. Um, but if you wanna share how this activity went with, with you, please let us know um, how it was. And next time you're able to come into the museum and say hi in the lab, we would love to talk with you more about your activity here and also to talk about some of the really cool fossils we're working on in the Paleo Prep Lab. So thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you have a great day.